Hi Virgo, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. This is your bonus extended reading. Be sure to only take messages that resonate. If a message is not for you, leave it for someone else and you can check your other signs or check back next time. You're connecting to someone, Virgo, that is very confusing. You may have tried to understand this person's emotions, but they're just sending you mixed signals. Could be someone that has a strong water placement, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Knight of Swords, almost like you can't figure somebody's motives out, okay, or, you know, their intentions, like you're really having a hard time. Ace of Swords, Three of Swords. This person could have ran off, or they're in and out of your life. You just, it's an energy of never knowing what to expect from someone, like kind of being on edge, not having clarity. Who is this person? The High Priestess, Pisces energy, they're secretive, or they're giving you the silent treatment, or both. Page of Cups, Queen of Swords. You feel played with, guys. You feel like someone's playing with you. Queen of Swords, that card of setting boundaries, right? Having a certain set of standards. So make sure you have standards for people to stay in your life. That's what a boundary is. But guys, you feel like somebody played you or playing or they're playing with you. Like you're like, wait a second. Do you not know who I am? Like, do you not know who I am? That's kind of your energy. Like, you know who you are. Don't let people play with you. Seven of Wands. Could be blocks in communication for some of you guys, but it's like this person leads you on or, you know, you feel led on and then they push you away. You feel led on and then they push you away. They talk, then they don't. And it's very confusing energy. And so now you're like, you feel played with, mishandled. How do they see Virgo? Well, they're spying on you watching your social media or, you know, keeping tabs on you however they can. Could be communicating with a fire sign about you. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. How does this person see Virgo? I'm going to tell you, Virgo, this person is very defensive and they're very secretive. And it's almost like if you were to point something out to this person, they have an excuse for everything. But the Queen of Swords has clear vision. She has keen sight. She's very perceptive. So don't allow this person to play with you because the Queen of Swords is seeing clearly, okay? And this person may want to confuse you and may want to make you feel like you're not seeing a situation clearly when you are. All right. Spirit, how does this person feel about Virgo? No. How do they see Virgo? How are they seeing you? Right now, how are they seeing Virgo? Five of Swords, conflict. They see you as a conflict. They don't want you to have the upper hand in this situation. Now, you could be arguing with this person in the future, but they see you as a conflict. What is, okay, we have the tower at the bottom of the deck, two of pentacles. Oh, you're a conflict because you ain't with the bullshit. That's why they see you as a conflict. People who um, try to get away with bullshit, and when you don't let them get away with bullshit, they start to see you as a conflict. They're like, whoa, 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 wait a second. What do you mean I can't be, I, 
I can't be sneaky. I can't be secretive. I can't send you mixed signals. Whoa, you're, you're the problem, right? This is someone who's going to blame you because you're not letting them get away with bullshit. Mm. How do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? The Nine of Swords, they're in mental conflict. They feel restless, stressed out because you're not letting them treat you poorly because you have standards, right? You have boundaries. So when people can't walk all over us, they get real mad. They get real mad, Virgo, when they can't walk all over us. How dare you not let this person treat you poorly? <laughs> they are stressed out. They're going crazy. What is going on? What is wrong with this person? There's something wrong with this person. <laughs> I mean, come on now. So I'm getting like, you know, they're mentally freaking out over here. Wanting to view you as a problem. You're a conflict because you don't allow them to walk all over you or treat you poorly. You don't, you're not allowing them to treat you poorly. So they're, they're blaming you. What do they, what do they even want from Virgo? What do they want from you? What do they want from Virgo? The Eight of Cups. To use you as a doormat. Sorry. That's what they want. They want to use you as a doormat. They want to walk all over you. The Eight of Cups is an energy of disappointment. The Eight of Cups is an energy... That's, I mean, it says doorway. Me as a reader with this particular deck, it feels like they want you as a doormat. They want you to let them do whatever they want to do. And you just deal with it. That's what they want. They want someone that they can walk all over. But you're not the one because you're the queen of swords in this energy. Male or female, you're not the one. Okay? You're not the one to be played with. What do they like about Virgo? Let's see. What do they like about you? I'm curious. What do they like about Virgo? The three of wands, how you give them freedom. You're distant. You, you can be distant at times. You're challenging. So they like the challenge. Okay. Three of wands. They like the pursuit. They like, it's almost like they enjoy the pain of having a problem. They might not, guys, I don't even think they realize they're like this. I don't think they realize they're like this. So what's attracting them to you is your free nature, the way you move, okay? Uh, the way you just live your life with the Three of Wands. But the Ten of Swords, it's almost like you give this person a sense of pleasure, like painful pleasure. Uh, is what I'm getting. So just take that how it resonates. But it's like they enjoy being challenged, but at the same time they hate it because they're not getting what they want from you. They're not being able to walk all over you. Tell me more about that. Now, Virgo, they like the fact that they can see a future with you, but it's almost an energy of you being unattainable with the Ten of Swords, like right out of their reach, out of their grasp. Page of Pentacles in reverse. And they're very curious about you because you're hard to read. That Page of Pentacles in reverse is hard to read energy. Although, looking at you, you look pretty, um, it's clear, uh, it's plain as day to me that you're just not one to play with. I mean, that's pretty easy to understand. They're like, whoa, I don't understand this. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to people standing up for themselves. That's where they're at. What are their next actions towards Virgo? What are their next actions towards you, Virgo? Four of Pentacles. Why is that? This is holding back. Knight of Cups. So they're holding themselves back from pursuing this, even though they really want to pursue this. The lovers. I just wanted further clarification. The emperor. 
So somebody really wants to pursue you, but they keep themselves from pursuing you for whatever reason, um, because they see you as a conflict, right? You're not let, allowing them to just walk all over you, not just allowing them to use you. And they're very conflicted and they, they enjoy a good challenge and they, enjoy, they can't read you and they enjoy that. But at the same time, it drives them crazy that they can't read you. <laughs> but the lovers, the Knight of Cups, although they really want to connect and they really want to pursue this, the Four of Pentacles, their ego just won't let them do it. The Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Their ego is just like, nope, I'm going to maintain my power by being held back. Well, all right then. Let's see what this person's hidden truth is. I feel you even though we're apart. This is the first card that wanted to come out. What's their hidden truth? They want to start over? Or what? They showed you who they are. Let's see. They find you attractive. So that ain't the problem. They want to make amends. That's their hidden truth. All right, Virgo. I hope this gave you some clarity. If it did, I appreciate you hitting the thumbs up button. Uh, signs you could be dealing with, uh, Gemini, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius. Strong air energy is here, okay, and water. However, you could be dealing with any sign. It's just energy. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Until next time, bye.